Let's get a check of our forecast and let's talk about the fire at the Caldor fire. We have a red flag warning still mm -hmm. in effect until 11 p.m. tonight and hopefully after that some more favorable weather for firefighters. Yeah, we, we definitely think as we roll through tomorrow, those winds are going to be decreasing across the Sierra and firefighters have made excellent uh, headway, at least on getting a strong containment line just north of Myers. Now, I also want to bring it out to uh, our fire here in Lucas Valley. It's burning near Mount Lawson Drive. You can see here San Rafael. That's where the fire is located. As of last check, there are still evacuations in place. So I'll go over that in a second, but I wanted to give you a closer view again of that fire burning near Mount Lawson Drive. The way the wind's been blowing out of the south and the west, it's pushing those flames up the hill away from the homes, but you still really have to watch out if you're in any of these areas again that have been evacuated. You want to listen to those orders. Uh, winds tonight 10 to 25, also keeping with 10 to 25 mile per hour winds tomorrow. So firefighters are going to have to be managing these hot spots. Now the evacuations pretty widespread in this area from right around Bridge Bridgegate Drive to Mount Rainier Drive, also including uh, Mount Taliak Court, of course areas around Mount Lawson Drive, and then it continues over here uh, Loganberry Drive, Quietwood Drive to about Las Galinas Ave, and you're being asked to head towards Highway 101. Again, check the alerts on your phone. Head to NBCBarry.com. We also have more information on it there. Now, the other big headline, of course, in the Bay Area today has been the cooler temperatures. Walnut Creek this past weekend was in the upper 90s. Today, yes, it felt like fall. First day of September, 69 degrees. So if you got errands to run, got to go to the grocery store, pick up the kids, whatever you got happening in the next couple of hours, make sure you take your jacket. You're going to need it. That wind's also kicking up 10 to about 15 miles per hour. This is the uh, system here that's helping to change up our weather. It's going to hang around tomorrow, so I still think it's going to be comfortable. The worst of the smoke is away from us, but I still think we could have some moderate, maybe a few areas of unhealthy air in the north and the east bay, and we're getting that fog back for the morning as well. So let's bring it to that fog, and you can see it's thick at the coastline. Low clouds for the North Bay, also for the East Bay. Not much for the South Bay, but some of that there uh, down towards Gilroy. Then as we push through the afternoon, we get our sunshine returning. Now, morning temperatures, you got to be ready for this too. Uh, it was probably uh, an abrupt walk out the door this morning. If you didn't have the jacket, we got a repeat performance coming our way tomorrow. Look at this down into the low 50s over the South Bay Peninsula and the Tri Valley and more of that chill over the North Bay 50. San Francisco 52 and the East Bay at 53. Now daytime highs tomorrow will warm up a couple of degrees, but we still stay below average. It'll keep us in the low 80s across Concord and Livermore 77 in San Jose 75 in Palo Alto. I got you in the 60s right there through San Francisco and Half Moon Bay in SF. We'll get into a few low 70s here once we hit Labor Day. Uh, it's not going to last too long. And for the Inland Valleys, hotter Sunday 96 Labor Day 95, and then we get some 80s back as we roll into next week. We'll have more looks at the Calder fire. Uh, Jessica and Janelle coming up at 6 o'clock tonight. Okay, thank you, Jeff. We'll see you in a bit.